Okay, Chad, here we go. Descendants. Uh, let's go through the patch notes. God, I should make this like a, like a jazz session. Good morning. Welcome to the first Descendant Hotfix patch note reading. Greetings, Descendants. We are here to give you details. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll, I'll back up, Chad. I'll back up. Greetings, Descendants. We, uh, we are here to give details about patches for the first Descendant Hotfix 104 Applied Maintenance free on Wednesday. Here we go, Chad. Content improvements for platforms Steam Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, PS4, and PlayStation 5. Module storage limit has been increased from 1,000 to 1,500. Ellie, do you know what's the square root for you? Oh it is my two god! Less that, than three. that is good. That is good, Chad. 1,000 to 1,500. Thank you so much for the biddies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, cooldown for Volgus strategic outpost has been reduced, reduced from five minutes to one minute. Oh, they nerfed, they nerfed the Bobby run chat from five minutes to one minute. Wait, no, oh, cooldown for Volgus strategic outpost. All of the outposts from five minutes to one minute. Bro, I was right. I called that. I, I it literally said they should reduce that shit to one minute. I called it. Oh my lord, that's so nice. Oh my lord, chat. You know what? I, 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 I wish they would have gone with my second revision and gave it five minute cooldown still, but made it 100%. This is the, the, this is not bad change either. I'll take this one, but I definitely do prefer it would have been a hundred percent drop rate and still kept the timer. But you know, I'll take this still. It's still it's still pretty nice. I'll take it, but I think my solution would have been a little bit better. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Here we go, chat. Spawning time between monster respawn has been increased. And the reward amount has been adjusted at the focus strategic outpost. Um Wait, spawning time between monster spawns has been increased and the reward amount has been adjusted. So this affects the Volby run, doesn't it? And the reward amount has been adjusted. Uh, void fragments will now drop when defeating monsters in special operations. Ooh, ooh! There will be, there will be the most void fra fragment drops at the special operation neutralized void experiment, using mark uh, for arrest item obtained from a special operations it will grant ten times the usual amount of gold when mark for a arrest is used for consumable tab. <laughs> It will convert to 100,000 gold and high value mark arrest will convert to 1 million gold. Uh, special operations. This is a defense mission that you have to do like different tiers of it, right? Like it, it gradually gets stronger. Is that what the special? Um, now, unless they change the way these spawn, this is dumb content for me. I think this content is so dumb. It takes too long to ramp up. The monsters are too slow in the beginning. It, I just, I don't care how much that shit pays out. I rather, I rather do Volby run and get nothing for it. I think special operations need looking into. I don't really like the way a special, Nexon, if you're listening, Special operations need to look be looked into. It's okay to keep it easy for new players, but if a hardcore, or in quotations hardcore, if the veteran players want to get some more juice and have a fun time, special operations is not fun. Special operations feels like work. It is not um, good enough. I think it needs to spawn monsters fast enough, harder, um, maybe not even harder, just more monsters, faster spawns. Anyways, director's comment. 
With this, with this adjustment, the reward amount at Fortress Outpost has been reduced. However, to ensure that Bobby Run remains a popular hunting ground like Ambush Point and Refined Run, we have set the reward efficiency significantly higher than originally intended. We hope to provide numerous farming spots in the First Descendant, each with unique characteristics and useful, uh, uh, usefulness to different descendants. Instead of reverting Volby runs to its original design intent, we have adjusted to offer similar efficiency to other high reward hunting grounds. Additionally, we have shortened the cooldown for all outposts so that players can play them more frequently without deliberately failing and no longer need to search for outposts with shoot shorter cooldowns by moving around the map. We have also added gold rewards to special operations and adjusted four types of void frag fragments to be randomly dropped, allowing players to choose and utilize various hunting grounds. This is a very good addition, adding void fragments to special operations, but again, more monsters. A horde mode is always appreciated if the horde mode actually feels fun. This horde mode does not feel fun. And I know fun is subjective, but I have a feeling most people would agree with me that that is just too tame of a horde mode. Through issues like Fortress Outskirts and Volby Run, we are learning what kind of playstyle our players enjoy. The experience of sweeping through farming monsters is significant value in our game. Oh my god, chat! It's like they listen to me, chat. It's like they listen to me. I said add more fun, more monsters dying quicker, just a bonanza, a blitz, a blitz of like things dropping, heads exploding, gold, legendary sounds hitting the fucking air when you kill a pack. That is what we want. We want more blood. <laughs> that is uh, really, 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 really good. Yeah. Um, I agree with sleepy Ellie. I'm not sleeping. I just woke up Your feedback and interest is what drives the continuous improvements of the first descendant We will always listen to your feedback and improve the game week five preview um, Along with patch notes. We have prepared information about next week's update <gasps> Sea of Emerald ultimate Volby finally the Magisters have completed the ultimate project for Valby. This ultimate equipment called Sea of Emerald has, fulfilly, uh, has fulfilled Valby's long-held desire. It is a nano suit that replicates Valby's former body color and texture. Although covered in a thin layer, Valby feels like regaining a long-forgotten part of herself. Covered in a thin layer, chat. Are we getting a coochie skin? I don't know. I'm here for it. Ultimate Vobby's modification modules. Um, spiral Tidal Wave replaces the bubble bullet, which was difficult to aim, with a, pro a projectile that fire flies straight. Spiral Tidal Wave attracts the impurities of a gluttony making it an excellent choice for intercept gluttony hydro pressure bomb instead of plop plop it leaps forward and deals damage to enemies around the landing area the more enemies in the laundry state the more powerful the damage making hydro pressure bomb a strong finishing blow instead of diving into the water leap joyfully forward a new descendant luna the mad artist Luna has returned to Albion after a long, wandering performance. Lu Luna's synthesizer gun becomes more powerful when fired in rhythm, enhancing allies' abilities based on the performance. When Luna dances to upbeat music, allies' skill power increases, and when dancing to relaxing music, allies' mentality recovers and resources consumptions decrease. Invite everyone to Luna's concert. Unfortunately for virgins, I mean Virgus. Oh, sorry, I thought they were coming for you. Huh, I was gonna cut. I was gonna cut him. It will be their last stage. But Luna's performance is just the beginning. Luna's modification modules, nimble footsteps, 
enhances Luna's mobility and amplifies the effect range of her performance, allowing for more effective ally support. Ooh, Chad. Oh, this sounds like Lucio when he turns on his his little um, um, skill where he goes faster. <laughs> That looks, that sounds like Lucio's thing. Noise Surge transforms Luna from a support to a combat dealer. Dash, dashes towards enemies in rhythm, dealing d uh, damage to nearby enemies. When uh, the inspiration gauge is full, summons a stage to recover mental strength and shields. Provides enemies with a terrifying musical experience with Noise Surge. Oh my lord, Chad, that's me, I'm Luna. I've been a Luna main since day one. Hey, Nexon, if you're listening to me right now, can we get a lot of long hair options for Luna? Maybe, maybe if there's something in your in your arsenal with twin tails, that would be really nice. Yeah, you know, just just a little long hair. You know, maybe some twin tails, some white hair twin tails. Yeah, let, let's do it. Um, new ultimate weapon, peace. Um, uh, mediator? M mediator? I don't know how to read that word, chat. It's too mo it's too early. When, um, uh, meditation is necessary to bring peace to ingress, the new ultimate weapon, peace m mediator. God, did I get it? It's the perfect solution. This powerful hand cannon is effective, even with single shots, but can unleash a burst of bullets to deliver powerful firepower under the right conditions. Sounds like um, like a shotgun hand cannon, almost like it sounds like like it would be like a sh like a hand cannon that has multiple shells. A new ultimate module, arch concretion. <laughs> Provides arch constipation effect, which increases defense and mentality when using... What the hell is mentality? Increases defense and HP? I think that's what it means, right? It's just bad translation. Mana? Is it mana? I don't know, HP or mana, increases defense mentality and mentality when using the skill but decreases movement speed and attack power. It is practically useful, uh, particularly useful for Luna and Ajax and can be a good choice for players who want, a stable, uh, want stable skill use. Your choice are free. Combine various modules to create your unique build. Balance adjustments. In the week five update, we have decided to make balance adjustments for some descendants and ultimate weapons. First, we are adjusting Volby, Blair, and Freyna, who use AoE as their main skills. We hope to see- Oh my god, they're finally going to make Blair good. Um, We hope to see the descendants more effectively dominate the battlefield creating large AOE zones and leisurely watching enemies fall from the rear. Look forward to improvement, improved performance for the wide range covering descendants. <laughs> Let's go. This is a W chat. Everybody knows that if you've seen Blair or you've played Blair, you know it feels disgusting whenever your fire is put on the ground and mobs don't even stand on it. You know what I mean? A player just seems like it was very underperforming. It just seems like his kit was dog water. So I'm happy to see that this is getting looked into. Freyna, I mean, I'm not going to complain. Give me some juice, sure. Volby, okay, I'll take it. Um, additionally, there will be improvements to ultimate weapons that enhance critical hit chance and damage. That's a W. We need more crit, uh, crit rage, chat. Enduring Legacy, Machine Gun, Secret Garden, um, Devotion, Hand Cannon will be improved to boast more powerful fire power with critical settings. Enduring Legacy was already pretty decent, wasn't it? Am I wrong? I thought Enduring Legacy was pretty decent already.
as a player main, I'm very much looking forward to week five patch. Hey, let's go, Mr. Dragon. I'm happy for you, Blair players. I will finally probably grind him out. Uh, moreover, Greg's reverse fate will be adjusted to activate its unique effect in more chances. We're also improving the functionality of single shot weapons, allowing players to choose between single shot and rapid fire modes. Please look forward to. Oh, okay. Lastly, there will be more. Imp blah, blah, blah. Lastly, there will be more improvements for convenience to be included in week five update. Plus, new cosmetics that many players have been waiting for will be out. So please wait just one more week. I will always be waiting for you in Albion. See you in August 1st. Thank you. Hey, this is a good patch, chat. We're gonna get a good patch uh, next week and uh, right now, Apparently, we got a really decent patch right now with our modules being increased from 1,000 to 1,500, which our cooldown reduction from five minutes to one minute. This is a banger patch, chat. This is a banger patch. Special, I'm going to try some special operations as soon as I log in. Speaking of logging in, also, um, YouTube, uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hello, YouTube. Hey, 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 hey. I know you might be around. Wait, start, start all over, start all over. Hey, YouTube. I know you may be new around these parts of town. How about you hit that follow button? It really helps me grow as a content creator. Um, calling myself a content creator doesn't sound really good. Um, as a white haired blue eyed new wife of yours. How about you hit that comment, like, subscribe button? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do yourself a big favor now.